Well, I just pulled this little beauty out of storage uh, a little while back because I needed to reseal the, uh, the base. It had sprung a little leak last Halloween, so I wanted to get that fixed while it was hot and uh, would dry quickly. Um, and then I also took the time to uh, adjust the pump so it pumped a little better. And right now it's just filled with uh, plain water so I can give it a good uh, test run here. So the way this works is the base has a big reservoir bowl and that's where the pump is. And so it just shoots the water up the tube that goes into the uh, baby head at the top. And the baby head has holes drilled into it in different areas. Uh, like the eyes, the ears, the mouth, and around the scalp, which allows the water to trickle out. On Halloween, the full fountain effect is accomplished with water dyed from the ink from a couple of uh, fluorescent highlighter pens. Um, this combined with the UV black light just really makes it glow bright green. And it really contrasts great with the black. As you can sort of tell just by looking at it, uh, this fountain is built in three stacking sections. Sometimes when I look at it, it just looks like some sort of really hideous uh, wedding cake. The top section is just a bowl. Um, it's a lid from a stir-crazy popcorn machine. And there's got a window cut out in the front so that it exposes that baby that you see in the center. If you look at the middle piece, you can tell it's just a plastic uh, water tray. It's the kind of thing that goes underneath a you know, garden planter and attached to that is the low volume pump, which I just took out of an old uh, outdoor fountain. Um, and as you can tell, you're probably familiar with the, from the looks of it that all the exterior pieces are covered with great stuff. Um, and then I have cut up doll pieces, which are glued on with liquid nails, which I'm not sure I would recommend the liquid nails. It took a very long time to dry, but it did eventually and it holds quite well. The full uh, doll that's on the middle section supports the upper bowl and has the uh, tube hidden inside. Um, now the great stuff creates lots of little pools and channels which catch or drain the green dye. It looks really great in the dark. And now the middle section just rests on the four heads which you see glued to the uh, styrofoam base. These poor guys look a little ill. Uh, though the top section fits pretty snugly around the uh, hose, um, I used a thin foam washer to help seal the water supply into the top section. Um, you can kind of see it here. I've got some additional doll parts on the middle section which gives support to the upper bowl so it doesn't rock around too much. And here's a view of the base without any of the water in it. Uh, originally it was just styrofoam packaging which had a lighting fixture in it. And I just couldn't throw it away. It was just too perfect. I had to come up with a good use for it, and this was it. Okay, well, uh, it's summertime. I don't have any real new projects going. Just want to fix up some things that I wasn't happy about from last year. And this is the um, burlap that I hang from the gutter. It's really creepy, and the black light around the porch um, is disguised by what's hanging down as well. But it's a little too lightweight, it flies in the wind too much and gets caught up in the gutters and I'm constantly having to uh, hook it down and I'm just going to paint it black and I should stiffen it up so it hangs straighter down without the wind knocking it around so much. And it's a warm day and I tested the fog chillers and as long as I still have ice in them, I think I'm going to keep my little work buddy chilled for when I need him later. at all. Guarantee it. Okay well here is the end result. It's dry and the paint is definitely soaked in like a this is like a sponge of this burlap. If you ever do this plan on having lots of paint. I ran out. Anyway, it did dry and stiffen it up, so I think when the breeze hits, it's just gonna sway. 
and it's not going to fly up into the gutter and get stuck where I have to try and climb up there and get it out of the wet gutter. Yeah, that's going to work a lot better.